Ladies and gentlemen, the Hot Wheels Batman expansion is here, and in it you get a whole new environment, 5 vehicles, 11 customization items for your basement, 2 new item sets, profile icon, tag, and a background for your unleashed profile, and events for the Hot Wheels City Rumble. In this video we're going to check out all 5 of the cars, see how they drive on the track, we're going to do on a normal track so that it's fair, we get a full review of each car, and in the next episode, which will be uploaded today as well, we'll check out the new area and the Joker obstacle so let's get on with the video and let's see how the cars handle now we're going to start with the armored batman i'm going to do each car in rare form this is three speed five braking power three acceleration three handling and a boost bar let's see how it is on the track all right here we go this car looks very nice i do have to say you look at the front yeah that looks very nice very menacing now hopefully this car lives up to its name because batman oh yo we're armored batman you don't want to do that to us armored batman the name has a lot behind it we want wait isn't wait the barricade just spawned in late that's not fair but we're currently sitting in second here we've just overtaken black manta he's trying to take it back okay the boost does not seem to uh generate as, i don't know it just feels like it generates a bit slower but this isn't looking too bad we have winning formula ahead now we are testing out all these cars on extreme difficulty so if you're on easy hard or medium they may handle a lot differently you may win races a lot easier but i do on extreme difficulty so you guys can see how they compare against the best of the best so you guys can have a proper complete review whether you like the car or not this car is very nice considering the size of the car i'm surprised at how light it feels and the, the uh, winning formula this is not a multiplayer race which you can do that to me because that's all they do online but can see yeah like i was saying considering the size of the car it's actually very good the speed does not feel slow the boost strength is very good enjoying the batman expansion as it's here the first car the armored batman vehicle oh my god what a car we have just completed first place so easily there we go we oh that car just killed itself total disposal don't know how we ever got a first place with it but there we go first car complete that's a very good car here we go we can have a quick little run around the car looks very nice but now let's move on to batman rebirth oh my god this car looks insane i love the little ears homage to the batman helmet oh my god this looks so cool all right we're gonna upgrade this here we go so it actually only has two speed three braking power max acceleration five handling and a pretty big boost bar but how's it gonna handle on the track let's find out all right here we go oh my god this car looks amazing i thought the armored batman car looked nice this looks even better. It feels like it has more of a classic look. Wait, I pressed RT on my, yeah, what? It, I can't speak, I have, I'm lost for words. It felt like I had button delay on Hot Wheels. That's new. But the car, as I was saying, just feels like it has a classic vibe to it. More of the original Batman. And the armored Batman just felt like it was ready for a fight. This is just like more honed down to the character itself. This car, okay, we have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle car behind, but this car feels very good. Nice and light. I guess the Armored Batman felt a little heavier, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't it legit. It was actually very good. This car, however, I feel like I prefer this one just because it's on the lighter side. The lighter cars, I do prefer lighter cars. I have no idea why. This one is not too light to the point where it's flimsy, though, so that's not too bad. Everything about this car is good. Even the boost bar. Now that we've learned more about the boost bar, how to use it effectively, I like it. I just, I think how the car's designed is what's got me though, because it's designed so nicely, look at it. But the thing is, I know a car's good because it's on extreme difficulty and when I can casually just have fun playing the game and talk to you guys, explaining the car, that's when I know the car is good. I'm not having to work hard, like with the total disposal. We can hit drifts nicely, that'll just hit the wall, won't spin out or anything. Look at the drifts you can hold. Perfect. Another very good car. But now we move on to Robin, the 2.0T. Honestly, I'm so excited to try this because it looks so nice. All right, here we are with the Robin car. Oh, that R. That iconic R on the front hood. All right, we got perfect boost. They all have boost bars. None of them have had individual boost blips, which is not horrible because we've learned how to use it effectively. Oh, this is going to be a bad drift. Not bad in the way that the car's bad, but we had a lot of cars in our way and we just hit a barricade. We pulled us back. This car might be just amazing. Not another one. Okay, we pulled it back anyway. 
We're up here with the three leaders, and we've just went straight into first place. Bump rounds in our way. Don't worry, won't be for long. I think Robin has this. Whoa! What was that? <laughs> then again, in every hero's story, there's always the part where they have the fall and then they rise back up. This may just be, oh my god, did you see what happened to bump around? But I think this is Robin's rise after the fall. We hit the barricade, we were slowly being overtaken by everyone, suddenly we're back into first place and oh my god, look how easy the cars handle. I have to admit, all of the promo cars that they release and the collaboration cars, they're all very good in their own ways. These cars especially are always good, speed-wise, handling, how heavy you like the car is, they're always good. This one feels very good. The, in this car, especially the Robin, you can hold a lot of drifts. You can throw it into a drift very early as well, I'll show you. So if you throw a drift now, you can hold it throughout the, all, the whole way. You can hold that drift the whole way and you have no problems. And honestly, I feel like on this car, the boost, I know boost generates like almost the same time, but on this car, it just feels like it's a bit quicker. And there we go, another first place. That's three out of three. Now the only weird thing about this car, I feel like the front gold circle should have the Robin logo. As you can see, it's on the top there and it's just a bit out of the way. I didn't notice it until we looked back at the car. I just feel like it should have been there, but still a very good car. Now we move on to the Joker GT. What a car. I have to say the car designs on these are amazing. You can tell the front is teeth, lips. Oh my God. All right, we've upgraded it. So it upgraded, it has four speed, four braking power, four acceleration, five handling, three boost blips actually. Very well rounded. Let's see how it handles on the track. All right, here we go. The Joker car. I just don't have a favor. Oh no, that was bad. We only got two, but that's nothing to worry about. The super villain, the Joker has got this. Okay, the RX Spider has just eliminated himself. Then we have those cars ahead. Okay, we haven't had the greatest start. I want to put him into a barricade. Nice. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, that's very super villain esque. That's a very Joker move. Ah, okay, that was bad. We didn't get any boost off that drift. Now we're being overtaken by many cars. All right, this so far has to be the hardest car I've used out of the three that we tested previously, but. Saying that, we're still in the race, we're still ahead, and we're still first. We still have a lot of boost, but I feel like it may just be down to the fact that I am preferring boost bars again. I don't know, but as you can see, if you get a bit of contact with a car, it does throw your whole trajectory off. When we're using the other cars, you could drift alongside a car, touching it, and genuinely, there'd be no problem. With this, I feel like there's a lot of instability with the car like look we just touched the car and we're just getting thrown about okay we need some more boost now we need some more boost i'm not gonna waste it because we're gonna need it off this drift look these cars just tap me and the car just shakes so honestly out of the three although this is supposed to be one of the most the more rounded cars considering statistics for me myself in my own experience it doesn't feel the most stable in terms of colliding with cars the others had a lot more ground they felt a lot more secure Saying that, we've still got a first place, and it is on extreme, so I can't really fault the car. I just, I would say, out of the four we've tested, this will just be second, the rest will be just tied for first. And finally, we have the Penguin. Oh my God, this, now this, just the design, the gun on the front, the back, the little eye thing, it just looks so menacing. And I love the little machine gun on, on the front, it just, it makes you think, what if they add little mini games where that machine gun works and maybe destabilizes cars? Not in competitive, just as a fun little mini game. That could be pretty cool. All right, now it's upgraded. It has four speed, three braking power, three acceleration, three handling, and a boost bar. Statistically, one of the more slower cars out of the five, but stats aren't always true. Let's see how it is on the track. All right, here it is, the Penguin car. That looks nice. Oh my God. I didn't realize how big this umbrella at the back's gonna be. 12 seconds later. In terms of this car, it does seem, oh my God, what's happening? Everyone's just, oh no, I didn't know this was gonna be part of it. Well, let's redo that because that's not fair for you guys. Okay, so take two. Hopefully the car isn't as stable. Oh, wait, okay, we didn't get perfect. I was gonna say, hopefully the car isn't as unstable as the shark bite because that car toppled and toppled repeatedly. Now, we didn't get off to the greatest start. However, that drift has us back into the race as the top three. Come on, we can do this. Now, it does feel, it doesn't feel the quickest, 
Now, obviously stats aren't always accurate, but in terms of this car, I will say maybe it is because this car doesn't feel too quick. It does drift quite nicely, handles, oh no, yeah, no, this car, it's not the most unstable, but it's not the most stable either. We're trying to get a boost off the Blanca, which we did do. Yeah, this car is probably the worst out of the five. It doesn't feel as good, but this is only a rare. Obviously at Legendary, it may be better. We've still yet to see what we can do in this race. We've now taken second place because we hit Barricade. I think if I can stay perfect, have enough boost, I think we may be able to take the Cheetah here. Let's see, this, if I can hit this drift nicely, we're set, which I have done. Okay, we kind of used a lot of boost though, but so did he. You know what? Second place, we may have this. Final lap. I think we may be able to do it. Just gonna try and generate a lot of boost here. Okay, that's fine. We couldn't really catch. Yeah, the boost doesn't seem strong enough that we can catch, but that's not the worst. In general, all the cars don't feel too light, don't feel too heavy. The drivable, usable cars, this is probably the most... This is the slower out of all of them, guaranteed. Now, if we can hit this perfect again, I think we... No, we haven't. Okay, I think second place is ours. Yeah, second place is ours. And that's probably deserved because the car isn't as good as the others. So that's fair. All right, now that we've tested all the cars, I think I'm going to have to go back to the Batman Rebirth car in the middle because I it just looks so good. The ears just make it all for me. The Penguin does look very nice, so does Robin, but they're all very good cars. The Penguin is a bit unstable and not the quickest. But other than that, all of the cars are worth it. They're very good, very usable, very quick. Boost is good, and they all handle pretty well. So hopefully you enjoyed. I'll get the video on the Batman track and area with the Joker obstacles out after this. So keep your eye out. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.